Tactical development is what are we trying to do in court. And technical development focuses on how are we doing, we're going to do it on court. So in this presentation, I will talk about both because they have to be put in one bucket to truly understand how they work together. You can't really learn technique without understanding tactical aspects of the tennis game. And you can't really learn tactics, execute the tactics of the game, if you don't know how to properly execute the technical shots of the game. So first I want to look at this graph. And here we can see the participation of, of elementary age children in sports. And we can see that soccer pretty much dominates it. And tennis is unfortunately last. Now, if we believe tennis is truly the only sport that fosters lifetime participation at the individual group and family level, I think that this graph should look different. I believe that this graph looks the way it does is because kids actually play soccer. They actually implement their technical and tactical skills at the same time. While tennis is focused on the technical part of the game and doesn't let the kids enjoy it the way that soccer does. And if we look at a typical practice, this is how it usually looks like. There's always a lot of time devoted to technical developing, which are called stroke shaping, very little to physical development, and very little to tactical game development. Now one of the reasons why it is happening is because equipment, a lot of times it's used or used to be used, now it's changing very rapidly didn't allow tactical development. You only were able to hit the ball when it's fed to you, and that way you only worked on your technique, and never really played the game. And tennis has an unlimited number of possible stroke shapes, uh, d depending on what kind of tactical situation you were going to try to execute. So really working that much on technical part of the game is not going to make you to play the game better. It's not going to develop you into a tennis player. So for more kids playing tennis and, being, and getting, uh, becoming more fun playing tennis, this circle needs to look different. So what needs to happen, the right equipment and curriculum that creates fun and constructive play environments makes the game easy and accessible. With the help of a technology, Street Tennis Club can bring the curriculum to you and you can add another fun play time to your children's lives. And it can easily be done in an environment of your own home. Let's take a look here at the tactical competency. What are we trying to do? So this competency for a player ages five to seven would be developing a consistent rally while using a toss. We don't really have to use a racket to start developing ability to consistently send the ball over an obstacle into a, into a, a tennis court. Now, how are we gonna do it? We're gonna work on some technical developing for example, using a high to low tossing motion, that will be our technical cue. And then we will be working on some physical, tracking the ball. So by having these two cues, we're able to now develop a tactic that can actually make us enjoy the game. First comes tactic. What are we trying to do on the court? Be more consistent. Now, it's going to trans we will need some kind of physical, how, physical skills, physical competencies to be able to implement that tactic, like, for example, tracking the ball, and technical competency, like also a how. How are we going to do that? We're going to work on our toss shape that actually will help us develop later on a stroke shape. 
We have to remember that children want to learn how to play the game of tennis, not stroke shaping. So this will be the tactical competencies that kids should possess ages 10 and under. Serving, returning, consistency, accuracy, playing from the back of the court. So these tactical competencies are going to dictate what technical skills kids have to be able to possess to execute these. And when you talk about children ages 10 and under, all of those technical competencies can be developed in the environment of your own home with a little help from, uh, from us parents. We can help kids to toss the ball a little better, can help them to uh, be more consistent with the tossing and hit games. We can help them to be more accurate where they can hit the balls into the target. And we can learn, of course, teach them how to play from the back of the court. So these are very simple competencies that can be easily enhanced by some re repetition uh, at home. And that's what street club is all about is giving the tools to the families to be able to get better faster and be more competent and be more confident hope you enjoyed this video uh, make sure you check out the rest of the videos on the site streettennisclub.com find resources that will help your children develop all performance factors so children can learn faster perform better and enjoy what they're doing Ha, 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 ha,